Call me and tell you, boy, bye. I'm about to go. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I don't know if y'all gonna see me. When will I see you again? Yeah. <laughs> when can my heart be done again? Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that, T. Did you put it on purpose? But, uh, yeah, y'all gotta call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And uh, we got some stuff to talk about. Talk about all the stuff. Talk up. Talk up. I had a good little run, man. It ain't over. I'm going to come back. I'm going to have about five, four, five cameras. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be It's gonna be nicer. I might have a little building. I don't know. What you think, Mike? Should I get a little building in the office? Something like that? I don't know. With extra lighting? Extra extra sound and more structured nah it'd probably be just like this just like this with more cameras and stuff a lot a lot nicer sound sound is okay i guess but you know be able to pay a pay a key more bucks big bucks baby yeah <laughs> Oh man, I had a great weekend this weekend. Uh, I took the old drone out. Yeah, what's up, y'all? What's going on? Yeah, last show until when? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I gotta go see how much this cash I can get out here. I gotta go see how much cash. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, had a really good weekend this weekend exercise worked out a lot I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna uh, display too many guns you know I ain't got my I ain't got my carry license so <laughs> but um yeah uh flew my drone this weekend it was acting up man I had to download a uh, a firmware to it and uh, it did pretty good after that. I went, I went uh, the regulated height that I'm supposed to go, and I took some wonderful pictures. If you guys want to check it out, go to my Facebook page, and or if you need some work done, you know what I'm saying. I let you boy inside work, outside work. We do it all. I was gonna bring it out for the heart walk, but I was I was doing too much. I was doing too much. But uh, I might do it next year. You know what I'm saying? I might do it next year. What's up, y'all? I see how y'all tuning in on here. Hey, Lou. Ellis. Marlon. All on here. Ready to watch that talk good. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, other than the drone, I had a, uh, I want to congratulate Mr. Barry and Mrs. Osha. They got married yesterday. I was honored to DJ their wedding, my last uh, wedding for a while. Last show, last wedding, all these glasses going on. And uh, it was good, man. They had an all white wedding. Now, this is just uh, Barry's mom, which is my friend Connie, told me, oh, the wedding is going to be white and lavender. So I wore a lavender shirt and white pants. Whoa. I had a, I had a lavender shirt, white pants. I matched the, I matched the uh, theme and everything. But everybody else had on all white. I was like, it's kind of, it's kind of, I felt out of place because I was the only one, but I was the DJ, so I guess it, I guess it didn't matter. I guess it didn't matter. But yes, congratulations on those guys. We had a wonderful time. We had, we danced, I cut up. They had people trying to get me booked. I was like, yeah, I'm about to go. Y'all gonna have to holler at my nephew. I said they gonna have to holler at my nephew, baby. DJ, I'm good in the building. So yeah, uh, look, hey, look for the phone calls. They gonna be calling. They gonna be calling, baby. And uh, yeah, we gonna we gonna uh, keep it going. And then I get back. So when we when we start talking about these topics, I need y'all to call in. Cause if not, we gonna cut it short. <laughs> it's gonna be short. I'm gonna throw a couple one, a couple things out there, and then y'all can start giving me thumbs up or call in or whatever y'all want to do. Number is 713-714-7670. I said that pretty fast. I did it on purpose just to see if I could do it. But I'm gonna do it again. The number is 713-714-7670. Call me now. Uh yeah, man. What's up, Keith? Louisiana in the building. Matter of fact, yeah, y'all do that. Type in what city y'all from. That'll be nice. Since it's the last show, just type in uh, Houston, Southside, or whatever. I don't know. Something like that. Because I see y'all name, but if y'all, you know, I don't want to say your name all the time. Y'all might not want me to say y'all name. Right, Keith? <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I'm yawning all on the mic. This is talk that we kind of do, we kind of do what we want to do over here anyway, so. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. First up, I don't know what, what city this was in. I guess it's Cave City. Cave City Baptist Church, don't know where this at. Sent an old lady, uh, the kid, grab me a water, please. An old lady, 82 years old. I don't know what's wrong with the lady. Uh, probably bedridden, 82. That's that's up there. Uh, sent her a letter and says, I don't know what you're doing out there in these streets. You ain't been to service. You ain't paid your tithes. You ain't paid your offers or nothing like that. So uh, you you going to have to get up out this, out this service, okay? You, you ain't a member no more. I'm just writing you this letter and letting you know, don't come back. 82, you can't make it. How about y'all send y'all sorry ass out there and go pick her up? How about that? Oh, oh, we got San Antonio in the house. Ah, I see y'all in San Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> but how about y'all go see Bob? Go pick her up. Go bring her a plate. Go bring her a slice of cake or something. Instead of just mailing a letter to her house telling her she can't come to church no more. What type of cheese is this? <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean, am I tripping? Or what? 82? Who? Who you know tripping about an 82 year old lady not coming to church? If you do send a letter, hey, Miss Ma'am, how, whatever. How how are you? Or is everything okay? 
We ain't seen you in a while. We was just trying to see how you was doing, and you know, the, the congregation is worried about you. We just want to write you this letter, see how, how everything was going. You need anything? You need you need any help or assistance? Can you get out the bed? Did you pee pee on yourself? Did you need diaper change? Something? Something? Not the first thing you say is you kicked out the congregation. You kicked out. Of the, you ain't a member no more because you ain't showed up. No matter. I don't know what's going on with you out here in these streets. 82 twerk contest. 82 year old twerk contest going on. But you don't come up. Don't show up to this place no more. Ain't that crazy? I don't know what's going on with people, man. It's crazy out here. If my mama ever get kicked out of church, I mean, many years she done put into the church and the tithing and offering and service. And it's it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a real problem. Don't get it twisted. Send that letter if you want to. Whoever the board is, don't send that letter to my mama. <laughs> or anybody I know that has been going to church all these years. And uh, y'all talking about kicking them out. What's up, Lil Shay? Where you calling from? I mean, where you, uh, where you watching from? Type in the place you watching from. I'm going to shout you out. Shout out your place. Uh, we already got San Antonio shouting out. San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. On, on the uh, on the west side west side of San Antonio, um, yeah. So I, I don't know what y'all think about that. Maybe may, maybe y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. Oh, she say my house. Girl, you crazy? Are you in Louisiana? Lafayette, Lake Charles area. Where you at? Baton Rouge, uh, New Orleans. Yeah, oh, all the way over there. Somewhere, somewhere over there. They think people in New Orleans eat boudin and crawfish every day. Oh! I got a phone call, hold on. Call from. Hey, thanks for calling Talk Up. How you doing? This is Silver Black, you on live. What's your name, where you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from Texas. Oh, yo, Texas. This is Mark Bowline. Hey, man! Some people say we can't vote. Ah! I said my dinner is getting What's happening, Captain? Oh, I love you. How you been, man? Man, I've been doing great, man. That's good. That's good. So, when you had on TV, you know, you talk show, man? Yeah, I'm on a talk show, man. You on, you on now, too. You on here. Okay. Yeah. Now I was just checking with him, man. Still got his thing going for you, man. Yeah, it's good, man. Thank you, man. Oh, man. Don't, don't make me cry. You know, this is the last show for a while, man. I, I get the crying on here. And they get the yeah. laughing. So. So, uh. Where you calling from? I'm calling from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, San Antonio also. Luella just, uh, said she, she watching, she watching right now from San Antonio. Boy, we, we yeah. San Antonio deep up in here, boy. Yeah, she go to uh, my church. I think um, the one that one in the here, uh, Miss Dickhead. Oh, yeah, that's right. They was they on the river walk and everything. You yeah, well, you got I a chance? Up, uh, you got a chance to see him? I never told nobody. I, I, I hit up on Facebook. But, uh, they didn't really. So oh. I think she got my name. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I see we have a family reunion case here. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. We trying to put another one together, man. The last one we just did, it was it was pretty good. You know, yeah, I guess this man. Huh? That's the 25 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was like a little gathering, is Right, that that was getting us ready for the next one. Yeah, this 2019 will be a celebration, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for calling, man. I don't like any time, man. I'm doing this every year. This is the time, 
Yeah. Yes, sir. You too, man. Oh my guns! My guns! I got these guns though, man. Real good. All right. All right. Take it easy. Love you, man. All right. Yeah, that's my cousin Mark Budweiser calling in from San Antonio, Texas. Thanks, man. I see you, Miss Vivian, just snuck up on here. Lake Charles in the house. I mean, Miss Vivian ain't calling from Lake Charles. Uh, we just have Lake Charles. Uh, we gave a shout out. What's up, Zach? Zach might slide through if we got time, but it's, you know, I'm gonna hold it down and say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you calling from, Zach? What side of town you on? Miss Vivian, what side of town you on? Where you calling from? Let me know. Let the people know so I can give you a shout out, man. Y'all, we talking about the dude. I don't know who did it, but it was a church called uh, Cave City Baptist Church. They kicked the 82-year-old woman out of church. Didn't check on her. Didn't say, how you doing? How your knees feeling? How your joints? How your sugar diabetes is? How your eyes? Can you hear? Or anything. They sent a letter and said, you are are not a member of this church no more. What y'all feel about that, man? I think it's ridiculous. They ain't sending the, they ain't sending the, uh, the youth board to check on them. They ain't even send, they could, okay, they could have, first of all, they could have sent the deacon board to check on them, but maybe, okay, say, say for instance, the deacon board can't get around like that, okay? They got the youth membership. Oh, what's somebody else calling? Hold on. Call from. Hey, what's up? You on live what? live with Silky Black? This is Taco. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. What's wrong with you? Who is this? <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, Paula, I see you. <laughs> what you doing? Nothing much. Just listening to you. <laughs> so what you think about that? They keep that lady out of church. What you think about that? That's not right. They ain't even because you see, whoever did it, they need to vote and get them out. Mm, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. They need to vote and get. I, I, it might have been like a, a board that was. Yeah. That, um, yeah. They did a meeting. Yeah. Zach said he was cold-blooded. Yeah, instead of he right, whoever wrote it, instead they wrote it down, they should have went, like you said, they should have went to her house and talked to her one-on-one. -on -one. Right, because I know if, if, if she a member and been a member, they got her information. Yeah, exactly. They got her information, her address, or something could have just drove her by yeah. here. Right, exactly. That That's, that's, that's horrible. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's good. I ain't the only one that thinks like that. I thought, when I read it, I was just, my mouth was open. What's up, Zach? What's up? I mean, uh, what's up, Frank and David? Now, nah, go uh -huh. ahead. I'm just, I'm just waving at the people. Go ahead. Uh -huh. I, I hear you. Yeah. You know, whoever it was, they wasn't right. They thought it wasn't right. Yeah, they yeah. want to get rid of her because she may be the oldest one in the church. Mm. And what See? what what you think is the reason they want to get rid of her because she's the oldest? Is, is that a, a reason behind that? I feel like who they must be young people that's in there. And they want to do what they want to do. Oh, and she may be one of them that stands up and tell the truth. It calls fan for what it is. You show right. You show right. It might they might be trying to do whatever in the in the church yeah. house. And she like, mm -hmm. uh-uh, baby, we can't do that because when I was coming up, we didn't do that. And they like, uh, we gotta get her out of here. Yeah, get rid of her. You show sure right. I don't even think of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Look, uh exactly. one, one hour, one hour. She speaks too much and knows too much. Uh, she too wise for all the job that's yeah. going on. 
Exactly. And she exposed her. Exactly. Ooh. She exposed. Look, one hour, one hour, uh, somebody in the chat room say, that's them Baptist people. Yep, I said it. Baptists. Yep. They just dead exactly. wrong. Ooh. Mm -hmm. They y'all going yeah. in on these folks. Hey, Cause ain't no way you're supposed to kick nobody out of church like that. But especially just sending them a letter saying you ain't a member no more. Yeah. Cause whoever did it, God's looking at you. Exactly. And they gonna wait for they spoke. Lou, don't you know how don't you know how to cut a fool? If they would send my huh? mom, if they send my mama a letter huh? like that. Oh, you and me too. You would have cut a fool with me. Would have been. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but mm. You know what I'm saying? Who that young woman is? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We'd have been all on them. Yes, indeed. Yep. Yep, like you say, she she got info she probably got all kind of information that they've been doing different stuff. And it's sent, yeah. like, why would you send that letter? Mm -hmm. it's, it's They're trying like to that. get rid of her, get her out the way. Oh, Miss Vivian say it's like that at their church. Huh. It's like that in a lot of churches, a lot of Baptist churches. She say, if you can't come in within three months and money things are not contributing, our church, oh, they just enforce that. That if, if you're not coming and not putting in no money, you can't be a part of the, uh, Services. Ooh, people doing that now? That's that's the word that people doing that. Mm. that because that, they're gonna have to pay the price because you see if God tells them that they can't come in to the gates of heaven, they're gonna have a fit. Hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. With all that money in their pocket. Exactly. Ooh. It just went somewhere else up in here, boy. <laughs> Now don't give me the uh, shouting up in here, Lou. Come on, now, cause I, I was in here uh, uh, shouting too. You just didn't hear me. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's getting bad out there. And I, I just wanted, to, I just wanted to see what y'all thought about it. I, I thought, I thought maybe I was tripping and going too far and thinking. Thinking way too far on it, but I, I see ain't the only one. No. And uh, Miss Vivian say they do it at her church, and I know her. Oh. Oh no. Uh uh. uh. Oh, Miss Vivian, whatever church you go to, Miss Vivian, that's where they do it. Uh, they don't want me there. Uh oh. Because <laughs> I don't sugarcoat it. Uh uh. Not no sugar. We we throw salt in that game. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I throw the bump. It's huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we can't say they that. You ready to kick me out? <laughs> Don't say that too loud because they might shut us down. <laughs> 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 you know, they wait for anything. Oh, they terrorists. They blowing up stuff on the talk up show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for calling. I love you. I love you too. All right. Well, be good and keep watching here. Okay, I sure will. All right. Take it easy. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was another one my cousin, Cousin Lou, called in from San Antonio. Two, people, two cousins from San Antonio. Ain't that something? San Antonio is live up in here. Uh, he said, they just say unity is what we need. Yeah, we do. That And we can't, unity ain't kicking people out of the dog on church. That's probably the only church she know. 82 year old, probably been going there for 80 years. Long time. How many years did she not go? <laughs> that's that's a real thing. But uh, yeah, that's that, that's one story we got. I mean, y'all can call in and talk about it if you want to. And uh, let me see what else we got. Let me see what else we got. Oh, uh, this is a story on Facebook. Uh, story on Facebook. Now this kid is going to college. college told him before you come over here and get educated and all this other stuff and and, and, and and come be a part of this fine facility you need to go get your immunization shots 
Okay. This kid is a, leave, leaving high school, going to college. Get his immunization shots. Now he's paralyzed. In his legs, he can't walk. He been laying up in the bed for weeks, months. What's up, Abdul? What's up, Trakea? Uh, he been laying up in the bed for weeks, months. With an immunization shot? I don't understand. I know a lot of y'all in the medical field. If y'all if y'all can call in and, and, and let me know something, what happened to this kid? And why he had to get an immunization this late. He been doing just fine. He, he walked up the yeah. Can can you believe that? That's why he got, I mean, uh matter of fact, Lachey. Her, her baby boy just got an uh, operation and uh, my prayers went out to him for his surgery and it came out successful successful and uh, yeah but sometimes man these people it it's, it's just practice they practice and they'll tell you it's a it's a practice then it's practice medical practice and they actually practicing and that's it and if they mess up anything, it's like, oh, sorry. Well, they document it. They won't do it to the next person, hopefully. So you don't know how you gonna come out whenever they get done. You see what I'm saying? So if y'all, if somebody know what I'm talking about, or can help me on this immunization thing, and this kid is paralyzed, uh, call and let me know. I don't know if he moved and they stuck him wrong, or they stuck him wrong, without him moving, or they put the wrong stuff in him, or, I don't know. Lachette, call in and tell us about your operation, if you don't mind. Oh, you know, when you're nervous, or, because I'm nervous, I'll be nervous all the time when you say, you gotta do some kind of certain teeth. Go get your teeth clean, I'll be nervous. <laughs> Mr. James, you got a free cleaning? Oh, no. Free? I know they gonna try to pull my guns loose. Oh, she's shy, y'all. She ain't gonna call. It's okay. You don't have to call. You don't have to call. It's all right. But, uh, yeah. Dude went in to get his immunization shots and never came out. Well, he's still in the hospital. Paralyzed. Don't understand. Don't understand. Can't understand. Let me explain. I'm the A and R man. They got sick. Nah, for sure. But <clears throat> yeah, help me, help me out with this. If not, I'm moving on. I think it might be a short show. Uh, what else? Of course, y'all. Can, we can go back and talk about any of them. We just need y'all feedback. And I know some of the story. I've been really busy. I hadn't really had the time to look it up. But, but I posted it on my page. A lady. A white lady. I guess she worked at a daycare. Huh? A child. Don't know what color. Don't know how old, but it was a child. Hung a child and got probation. I'm gonna just sit here till somebody call in here and talk about this because this is ridiculous. A white lady hangs a baby. And get probation? What y'all gonna do about this, man? What is probation? What's going on, Bubba? Calling all the way from Louisiana, deep in Louisiana. Um, I mean, uh, watching, I'm sorry, I said calling in, I'm, my bad. But uh, you can call in, 713-714-7670, yeah. But a lady hangs a child go to court and only gets like I think it was six months probation am I right okay 
like six months probation. Hanging, killing. Videos of people. What's up, Shaquette? Got these videos of people slapping these babies and going on. Like, what, 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 what's going on? Why is this okay? Ain't no way. And then if the parents go off and kill one of them, and it's like, oh, you go to jail. You shouldn't have did that. Hey, Tasha. I see y'all. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. Then, oh yeah, and matter of fact, somebody did put like a picture of Michael Vick and a picture of that lady and said he got, I don't know how many years in jail, like jail time for fighting dogs. No dogs died now. No dogs died or got killed, it was fighting dogs. He got actual jail time and he wasn't even actually there at the time of the dogs fighting. This lady hangs. I don't know how she hung him. Help me out. Somebody call in. How you hang a kid and only get probation? What's up, Monique? You hang a child, get probation, and a dog and a guy fights a dog. And he not even around the dogs and get jail time. I was about to say. That's what we dealing with though. Hey, Connie! What's going on, young lady? I was just talking about y'all wedding, your son wedding. I'm glad you can uh join in. Yeah, I was telling them how nice it was. It was beautiful. What? What's crazy? Oh, what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, I can't even imagine hanging a kid. Now, I can imagine fighting a dog. Let me tell you how easy it is to fight a dog. You walk in your dog. <laughs> Another dog comes out. And your dog big enough to take care of itself. Your dog's about the same size. They start fighting. Roo, 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 roo. You can't stop them. So you sitting there holding the chain or the, the rope or whatever. So you pull them, pull them apart. They fighting. You can't reach down there and break no dogs up. I'm just saying. It can happen. But hanging a child, you have to make a noose or a belt loop or something. Put his neck in there. Hold it up or whatever you do. How do you hang a child anyway? Until the child stops breathing. Can't see it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She said, Connie says that I was a, an amazing DJ. Thank you. you. You noticed the last show for a while. You can you see it at the top of the in her thing? I don't know if they can see it. But this is the last show for a while. I'll be gone. You know what I'm saying? I already said it. But, um, yeah, we're talking about the lady right now. We're talking about the lady that hung the kid in the daycare and got uh, probation. Oh, y'all welcome so much. Where are they going on their honeymoon at? You going to call them talk? Okay, you going to call them up? The number is 713-714-7670. Don't be shy. Call in and holler at your boy. You may not be able to talk to him for a long time. So go ahead and call in. Oh, you said? <laughs> Lou said the devil is still busy, but she is going to get it. Exactly. She's going to get her sooner or later. Exactly. That's, and then she's sitting up there and crying. Oh. oh, I'm so sad. What are you, what you sad for? You, you think you're going to get in trouble? You ought to be getting in trouble. You should be sad. Whew. Let me get off of this before I get upset. Y'all don't want, 
Y'all want me to get up and you see how big my arms get? I be the toilet table. Okay, I'll tear this table up. <laughs> what else I got? Oh! What's this guy's name? Jarrell Casey from the uh, the Titans. That boy say, that's his name? Oh. That boy say, give me my fine. So he gonna take his fine. See, what I, I think he, what he gonna do, he gonna take a knee. He gonna protest. They gonna, <clears throat> they gonna uh, give him his fine. And he gonna take their butt to court. Because that's infringing on the uh, Constitution. There's no way they can make them not kneel for for actually that cause. The cause is actually because of police 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 brutality, and it's not because of the flag or whatever they're trying to make it. Um, this guy is gonna protest. I think he's gonna protest. He's gonna take his fines. They gonna pile up, pile up, pile up. He gonna sue him and get all types of money because ain't no way they can stand up. If they going by the Constitution and this is just like some law they trying to pass. What's up, Mark? Some law they trying to pass or whatever in within the company. It's not gonna hold up. So I think I think that's what he's gonna do. He gonna go in, he gonna get his fine, he gonna probably sit down a couple games. Playing the game is his manhood. That's his livelihood. Uh, that's how he make his money, his income. That's how he feed his family. So whenever he kneel and get a fine, he's gonna suit big. And he probably got lawyers, super lawyers, waiting. Maybe, maybe they told him to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. It, it just seems like uh, he know what he doing with this. And nobody else came out. Nobody else really came out and said they're going to do it. So, yeah. This might be really short. Uh, I got a couple more things. Then we're gonna be getting out of here. Y'all need to call and holler at your boy because uh, I'm gonna be leaving. What what what'd you say? What's this? Oh, she said the president is trying to enforce this. It wasn't an issue before. Opened his chap lips. Yeah, it was it was an issue. They was just trying to come up with something to say like really like if you do it, we're not gonna pay you to play or but really they got a lot more power than what they think. Because if they if they quit for a couple games, you know how much money they'll lose in the in, in NFL? About as big as that lottery. About as big as that lottery is right now. And that's a week. It's a week for them. Yeah, uh, Trump Trump hat is ridiculous. That ain't no wig. He just got it combed over real ugly. There might be some uh, extensions up under there. Ain't no telling. The way the back of his head look like a chicken walking backwards. When the wind blow. Okay, that's that guy. Then, I think I got two more. Uh, Y'all gonna have to call in on this one. Uh, they have they have a video on Facebook. I posted on my page also. They have a white lady. She's sitting down with two white kids. Tell me what you think about this. A white lady 
she got two kids. She's sitting down with two kids. And she says, uh, somebody, somebody was interviewing her. And she said, well, I think it's time for another genocide. And they was like, well, what do you mean? She said, another genocide. They need to go because they are poisoned. And we need to make room, we need to make room and opportunity for our white kids. Ooh. She said they are poisoned. What does that mean, y'all? Can somebody help me? Ty, where you at, baby? She said they are poisoned and they need to die. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go in on that a little bit. There's a lot of poison out there. Uh, if they need to die, y'all need to die too. Whoever, whoever she is that thinks like that, <laughs> because it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, they, they is us. <clears throat> uh, uh, all the others. Because it was a white lady talking. Hey, Jamie. Uh, and she said they need to be wiped out because they are poisoned. And I guess hmm, being poisoned means that their mind is messed up, I think. I don't know. I don't know what she meant by that. But she obviously knows something. <laughs> she said but what I can think about is poison in the fact to where they already poison in the food. We already know that. But I'm thinking about poison to the fact to where a lot of us, a lot of us don't know what's going on and not able to function in this society that's rigged for us to fail. And when, when you in that environment and you don't know how to act, yeah, it can get dangerous for other people. Especially if if you scared of whoever acting out like that. And acting out could be, uh, let me see, let me start naming stuff. Um, violence, robbery, uh, homosexuality, uh, kidnapping, murders, all of that is a poison mind. People, regular people don't, don't think like that. That's, that's, uh, that is poison. So I don't know, man. Can y'all comment on that? And let me know if I'm tripping. I might be tripping. Because you can see a lot of poison people. Matter of fact, speaking of poison people, they have a video in Jamaica where they they are bleaching their skin over them. Now pretty pretty black as these people are in Jamaica. They got some kind of bleaching cream that they use every day on their skin to bleach their skin. Turn the black all the way opposite. And it's, it's horrible. Matter of fact, you can go on my uh, Facebook. I put it on there. And, uh, I, matter of fact, I'll tag it. Uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube also. This whole video. This whole talk up show. And I'm going to put it in the description. And y'all can check it out. Because it's they over there bleaching their skin. And they say, well, why are y'all bleaching your skin? Yeah, the girls, the girls say you're pretty if you're light skin. So the girls doing it, the guys doing it, the guys doing it for the girls. And so they had a white man over there, and he was scratching his head. He was like, I, I don't know what's going on. He said, we come over here to see the pretty dark skin girls that's heard or known to be over here, and. When you get over here, it's all this bleached, bleached-looking 
pasty skin. And he like, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Y'all should watch the video. It's horrible, man. That, that's, yeah, it's, uh, Luce is demonic spirits. It is. And that's, that's what it is. That might be what the girl talking about. You need to get rid of all of them. What you think? I don't know. I do know, but I want to know what you know. Hear what you think about it. Get, do it, do it genocide or what, man? Is this, I know I heard people talking about exterminating, but uh, y'all start on y'all in first. And we'll take care of the ones over here. Don't come over here with that. Y'all know y'all got some trash over there. We got some trash over here to it. We'll clean it up. We'll clean our trash up the way we clean up. Clean up your trash first. Do it. <laughs> do it genocide on your side first. Don't come over here with that. But uh, yeah, it just everybody. A lot of a lot of people messed up out here, man. Messed up out here. Okay, since ain't nobody calling in, I'm gonna jump to the next. One. This might be the last one. Hopefully, might y'all might be able to call in on this one and talk to me, since I ain't, y'all ain't gonna talk to me no more. Hey, CC. I guess y'all don't want to talk to you, boy. But it's okay. It's cool. When y'all have them strangers calling in, y'all gonna be like, we could have had, we had a chance to call in and we didn't even call. And then it's gonna be somebody else answering the phone. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna be able to get through. But um. Uh, Last story, last story. I know y'all seen it because I put this on my page too. And I got something to say about this. They have a lady on an airplane breastfeeding a baby. A baby, her baby. Had somebody recording it and uh, she had a passenger. It was a black lady that's, that was doing this. And they had a passenger, a white guy, sitting next to her. And he looked really uncomfortable. Now, the discussion starts. This lady was breastfeeding her baby on an airplane. Which don't have a lot of space at all. I don't have no problem with ladies feeding, breastfeeding their baby. <clears throat> Anywhere on a plane, in church in a bathroom, at a restaurant, uh, on a horse, at the coffee shop, I don't know. Wherever you want to breastfeed your baby, that's fine. Baby's got to eat too. But, on the other hand, cover them titties up, man. Cover them titties. You got baby blankets, you got shirts, you got sweaters, you got your arms. Cover them things up, man. On, and on the video, the lady had big, lazy titties. Just big, sleepy. Big. Now, okay, you can only, if you got one baby, I can see if you had twins, you would have both of them out. But she got one baby uh, with both titties out. So the lady titties was just like, That's my titty. Uh, yeah. One titty over here. So the other titty was like tucked over there to the man, the baby, you know, the baby eating. And the baby is out like this, like, like this. The baby right here, the titty right there. Cover that titty. Cover the titty, man. It's still a titty. We know it's used to feed a baby, but that's the baby's. Uh, means of food. Cover him up. The baby don't want nobody looking at his mama like that. And then if, if the dude would have even looked over there, he'd be like, what, what, what you looking at? What you think he looking at? He got your titties out on the plane. You ever heard of snakes on the plane? I'm tired of these mother snakes on this mother plane. What if you would have said that? I'm tired of these mother titties on this mother. <laughs> No man, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Call and let me know. The number y'all is on here. 
713-714-7670, man. Let me know. I might be tripping. This couple of my friends was on there saying, oh, it's just, just breastfeeding. Oh, I don't know why people are making big, a big deal out of this. Come on, ladies. Y'all on here. Uh, call in and let me know what y'all think. They might, you know, y'all know y'all might think a little different from me. I don't know. I might be tripping. Call me, let me know. Call me now. 713-714-7670. Because, um, I don't know about y'all, but I think if I have seen that, I'd be like, hey, want a couple of potatoes or something? So I'm talking about one was over here and one was over there. Uh-oh. Lachey says, agreed. Cover, cover it up, although it is a natural thing and it should still be private in my opinion. She could have covered it up out of respect for other passengers. Exactly right. Exactly. She could have covered it up and, and respect for herself. I mean, the other passengers, I mean, I just don't see the point in that, that way. Because the dude was so bunched up in the corner, he had a window seat, she was in the middle seat, and he was all bunched up in the corner trying to keep his arms off her. She wasn't like, I, I I don't know. It was just it just looked really bad. It looked really awkward. And, you know, what's up, Trey? Did you catch a little bit of that? What I'm talking about right now, Shay? Well, actually, I'm talking about if y'all didn't catch it, I'm talking about the lady that was on the plane that was breastfeeding and. Uh, and, and she didn't cover up properly. So I, I want y'all to weigh in. Weigh in on that for me. Maybe, maybe, oh, I want y'all to weigh in because I might be tripping. Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. If I say you should cover up instead of just letting your titties hang out while you breastfeed, I don't know. I don't know, I ain't never breastfed before. Uh. Boy, I'm a comedian, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> call me. Call me, y'all. 713-714-7670. We can be on Talk Up Live. This is the last show. <laughs> this is the last show, and I won't be back for a while. And then when I do come back, it might be a little different, so you might not be able to get in. You might not. I'm just telling you, some big things popping off. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. She said I'm doing a really good job. But uh, yeah, man, just me and, and and some of the comments I seen on there was like, y'all know that there's a lot of we just we just got finished talking about. It. There's a lot of uh, sick people out here. And you exposing yourself, and you know this may trigger something in people, or it may, I mean, even though you're on an airplane in a public place, still, you know, people crazy, people crazy, don't be crazy with them, we don't want no genocide on our side, we don't want that, okay, we can fix our problem, there's a lot of fixing to do, but we can fix it, <laughs> We need all the people we can get. There ain't no genocide going on over here. But uh, yeah, that's well. That's about it, y'all. The, uh, the breastfeed on the plane. If y'all ain't gonna call in, I mean, I want to thank the people that did call in, and I want to thank the people that's watching too. Y'all don't have to call in, but uh, I just thank y'all for tuning in and watching. I'm Silky Black and I'm going to do some bigger things and some some different stuff that I'm happy about. So I ain't gonna give y'all all the details. Zach! 
I let you boy, baby. The red. I let you boy. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, gonna do it good when we get back, man. It's gonna be nice. Y'all gonna be like, oh, look, we done came up around here. The key to gonna be holding it down on the DJ side of the game. Oh, I want to shout out to Corey Holcomb and uh, Corey Holcomb D and Zoe, Zoe Williams. I'm watching them boys, I'll be, I'll be following them boys, watching their show all the time. This is, if y'all get a chance, go watch Zoe Williams' show. Go watch Corey Holcomb 5150 show. Uh, dude got some good stuff on there, man. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to stop the show, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, if you if you get a chance, go watch the Corey Holcomb show, the 5150 show with Corey Holcomb and D and Zoe, and plus Zoe Williams got his own show. Uh, I think it's called Zo What Zo What Morning Show, and of course Holcomb, of course, is fifty one fifty. So y'all keep up with those guys. Those guys are really good. They inspired me to do this, and uh, I've been watching for a long time. Especially Corey. Corey used to be. Corey used to be up at Just Joking while we was going there a lot. And, uh, what's up, David? And, uh, I, I, I met him, watched him come up and blow up and do real good and stuff. And, uh, hopefully that can be, that can be me one day, you know what I'm saying? But I'm working on it, got some good stuff going on. Uh, and I'll be back. Just talk up. Shouting out, what was today, July? You got it, you got it, man. I'm just, this is the last show, man. I'm about to burn off, go do some good stuff and come back and shine. Oh yeah, I forgot, I, was, I got this harmonica up here. I ain't even get y'all no harmonica. I gotta get y'all some harmonica on the last show. I was playing a harmonica yesterday at the wedding. They was like, oh, look at you. Uh, what's up, Monique? Black. I'm gonna give a shout out to my nephew Akili holding it down, held it down for a long time with his old locker hanging up in here, you know what I'm saying? In the studio, woo, in the studio, on the tech side of the game, we editing it up, we chopping it up. Oh, it's gonna be on YouTube. If y'all missed any of these, man, y'all can go back on YouTube, uh, pull them up. Talk up, I got them all, uh, Dave is on all of them, so go to my channel, Silky Black. We started this thing in um, January. Me, Nigel P, Darrell, um, Seashell, we all started it in July, J January, something. So we've been holding it down for about seven months, baby. Holding it down. Talk up. It's your boy Silky Black and Lack. I don't know how to act. And every way I go to people singing, they loving that black. That's black. That's black. All right, y'all. Don't know when I'm coming back, but guess what? I am coming back. 
But you can check us out on YouTube, Talk Up, Silky Black Talk Up, and the rest of the uh, shows are on there. You can watch from the beginning to the end. There's a lot. So take your time. Watch them all. Uh, subscribe, like. Uh, I'm out. Be good. Y'all be good. I'm be good. All right then. Bye. Oh, look, I'm both of them.